Welcome to our channel. Today we're going to show you how to properly lubricate a Bell & Gossett Series 100 pump to ensure smooth operation and longevity. Regular maintenance like this can prevent costly repairs and downtime. Let's get started. The next step is to identify the lubrication points on your pump, such as oil ports or grease zerks. These are typically found on the motor and the bearing assembly. Refer to your pump's manual if you're unsure. Note, a lot of greasable motors are shipped without zerks, but unless they are sealed bearings, they still need lubrication. For this next step, we're gonna remove the oil fill plug using our pliers. We're gonna set it aside on a clean surface where it won't get lost. And then we're going to take our lubricating oil and carefully pour it into the oil fill holes. Use the recommended amount as per manufacturer's instructions. In this case, for the bearings, fill it until it begins to weep from the bottom port. It will drip for about 24 hours, so place a rag below it. For the motor, on startup, we're gonna add 12 drops to each side of the fill port. And for service, we're gonna add six to each. Avoid overfilling. For greasable motors, make sure to run the motor while filling the grease and securely replace the oil fill plug. At this step, we're gonna take our rag or cloth and wipe down any excess oil around the oil fill area to keep our pump clean and free of debris. You can leave that cloth underneath the bearing assembly as it will weep for approximately the next 24 hours. Now that we've lubricated the pump, we can turn it on to ensure everything is running smoothly, listen for any unusual noises or vibrations. If used in a heating application, it should be lubricated at the beginning and halfway through the heating season. Congratulations, you successfully lubricated your Bell & Gossett pump. Regular maintenance like this will help extend the life of your pump and ensure it operates efficiently. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more maintenance tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching.